Hello, good morning, good afternoon, welcome back to my channel, and welcome po sa mga bagong pasok dyan. I hope you hit subscribe, like, and that bell so that you will be notified on my future videos. You can also share. Alrighty, so this is Christoph David, ang babaeng walang suklay. And for today's video, I'm going to show you or I'm going to give you a walkthrough or a tutorial on how to make an account for SSS online. So that's our online account for social security system. Because nowadays, guys, there are some transactions that we needed to do it online with the... Uh, transaction with SSS so we don't need to go out to say for example update our online or our profile our personal information or to get the contribution or to whatever update whatever transaction that we can just do it online so you don't have to travel to go out to the SSS branch just to get those informations kasi nga it's very hard it's very inconvenient for us to uh, go out na lumabas labas sa mga panahon ngayon so i hope you will stay with me from start to end um this is very informative guys so uh, uh follow along all right so let's start let's go to our favorite browser which is google and then type in there sss sign up uh tick the first option which is republic of the philippines social security system and we are here at the social security website guys we have five options now uh, we can use to start registering our SSS online account. These are the information na nilagay po ninyo nung unang kumuha po kayo ng SS ninyo. So, we have savings account, mobile number um, registered in SSS, UMID card, the UMID card you need to have the PIN, employer ID, payment reference number. Usually, we just choose the last one because nan, nandyan lamang po yan sa resibo natin when we are paying our uh, SSS contribution. Alrighty, so uh, the first page, this is the page where, where we can input our uh, information details. Alright, uh, SRN or SS number, makikita po yan sa UMID card or the SSID if you have one. Kapag wala, makikita mo rin po yan sa resibo. Alright, email address. It should be active guys kasi after natin ma-input lahat yung, yung mga information dito, SSS will send you a message. Then you can continue from there. It will uh, give you a link sa message po na um, isi-send nila sa email mo. And then yeah, you can continue from there. Your preferred user id you have to very uh or you have to remember this isulat mo na lang po while you are in this page kasi this is the user id that you will be using when you uh log in later on to your online account Alrighty, of course surname given the middle name the rest of the information just make sure na lang na tama para hindi ka mag take mag take two mag take three mag take four diba? okay all right so for the mailing address guys it should be philippine address kapag nasa abroad ka wag mo gamitin yung address ng amo mo or address ng apartment mo abroad it should be philippine address at uh, yung mga room, floor, unit, house, lot in block number, yung mga ganon. Kapag usually nasa probinsya tayo, katulad ko, wala na ako ganyan eh. So, pumunta na ako agad doon sa baba, yung uh, Metro Manila or province, sabi niya. Just tick that one and then just uh, select the city, municipality, barangay, yun lamang po yun eh. Once na nailagay mo na yan, automatic yung postal code, magre-reflect na dyan. Alright. 
So, take your time here in this page para mailagay mo lang ng tama. Kaysa naman sa nagmamadali ka and then meron kang isa na maling na ilagay, magbabalik ka sa simula guys. So, we don't want to waste our time. It's very convenient guys actually if you have your SSS uh, online account kasi you can just log in. Kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina, you can just log in kahit nasa bahay ka lang and then uh, you will you will be able to see everything there. Later on, I will show you kung ano yung makikita mo sa loob ng online account mo. Alright, so I'm really taking my time to input all the information here. Guys, uh, medyo tricky yung first na step natin, yung, yung limang information. You have to really make sure na yung pipiliin nyo doon is yung sigurado kayo na meron sa SSS account ninyo, sa website nila. So like I said, it's either the UMID, um, UMID ID or the last one. Pero kasi kung yung UMID ID ang pipiliin mo, then you have to have a PIN for that. Uh, kailangan mo pang tawagan ng SSS. So, if you have a recipe, then uh, choose the last one. Alright, so enter the code as it is shown. Ayan. So, submit. And then, okay, you have successfully submitted your SSS web account registration application. Click mo lang yung okay. And then... You go to your email address na nilagay mo kanina. You should be receiving this this email from SSS. You have to click that link. So, you can uh, set your preferred pass password. So, guys, you have to input an active email address. Mm -hmm. So, i-click mo lang yan, yung blue na link. And then, uh, you will be given this one. Set password page. Alright. But then, before that, you have to input the last six digits of your CRN or SS number. Diba? Very... Uh, ano ang SSS? Make sure nila na sayo talaga ito. Alright, so, pag okay na yan dyan, they will give you this page again. Ayan na, magsiset na talaga tayo ng password. They will not accept kapag hindi ganito ang, um, ang combination ng password ninyo. So, one uppercase, one lower plus numbers. Yan po, may example tayo. So, um, combinations of uh, letters and numbers. Alright. So, after this one, okay, if you are using a uh, mobile phone, you can just download SS uh, mobile application from Play Store. And then, you will be uh, showing this one. So, user ID, password, i-input mo lang. So, kagaya ng sabi ko, uh, from the first page, kailangan mong isulat yung user ID para hindi mo makalimutan. Alright. And then, sign in. Kapag laptop, ganito po ang itsura, guys. Alright. So, andyan lahat. We have... By the way, guys, your password will expire. Meron po siyang specific uh, time yung password ninyo. Kaya, kailangan niyang uh, every now and then ay eh, i-renew po ang password. So, we have all here the tabs, home, uh, member info, inquiry, lahat po dyan. You can just choose what service you wanted from SSS. This is the desktop or laptop view. Now, this is the mobile look. Or ganito yung itsura niya kapag mobile application ang ginagamit po natin. My information, my contributions. Makikita mo dyan sa my information, yung information mo, yun, you can update. Yung sa contributions is yung bilang ng contributions mo at magkano na. 
ang na-contribute mo at kung ilang buwan loans kapag meron kang existing loans your benefits you can check dyan kung uh, meron ka ng uh, benefits na pwede mong if you are qualified like sickness maternity ayan kailangan ko tong maternity claim <laughs> char alrighty retirement claim para sa mga nanay natin disability claim Ayan, and we have one here sa huli. Um, so, ito guys yung mga uh, benefits na makukuha natin from SSS. Uh, ayan, medical. So, um, sa information, ayan, you can update or you can view your information. O ba diba, hindi mo na kailangang pumunta sa SSS branch. You can just do it here on your own. It's very convenient, uh, guys. And here, alright, PRN, dito mo makikita yung babayaran mo. Yung due na babayaran mo and kung ano yung due date. O, ba? Diba? So, um, isa, sa isang click mo lang, makikita mo na lahat ng mga ito. Then, you can just click pay kung gusto mo nang bayaran. O, ba? Diba? So, we, we are the, here are the options kung uh, paano ka makabayad. So, PayMaya. If you have a PayMaya account, I wonder why walang cash dito, alright? And then, the, the other one is credit card and debit card. So, piliin mo lang dyan. And then, mababayaran mo na yung uh, contributions mo to SSS. Alrighty? So... For this one, oh, for the maternity, alright, ito yung kailangan guys, expected date of delivery, ayan, para at least alam na natin kung ano yung kailangan ng SSS, para makapag-apply ka for uh, that maternity benefit, so, i-click mo lang yan, I will be needing, I will be needing this, <laughs> alright, loans, ayan, here are the information na maybe you might be needing kapag meron kang loan from SSS. Your contributions. Ayan, makikita mo nga yung total number of contributions posted at yung total amount. So guys, it's very convenient. Alrighty, so that's all guys. I hope you are still here with me and thank you so much for watching. This is Christoph Daven signing off.